welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is you're probably wondering why am I still pre-makeup in the intro? There's a very good reason for this. It's because I, I have a pretty good idea about how terrible I'm going to look by the end of it and, and I figured the no makeup absolutely in agony completely exhausted eyes like pandas where they have got such dark circles under them is probably going to be better uh, than the outcome <clears throat> of this film now you can thank my eldest godson <laughs> for this film he texted me a few nights ago saying, Auntie Ange, could you do the putting your makeup on in alphabetical order challenge on your channel? And because I'm a wonderful godmother, of course I said yes. And sat there afterwards and thought, oh, Pope. This is my little notebook. With enough gin, I can rule the world. What? And in here, I have written down. I'm trying to not show you part of this because it's, it's roughly writing and it's just notes for me. This side I wrote down all the steps that I do. And this side I alphabetise them. And seeing as how primer, setting powder and setting spray are the last three on here. Uh, it, it's it's going to be interesting. So, my face is washed. That's it. Hmm. So, Kieran, you wanted it. You're getting it. So, I have nothing under A. But my next item is B. Blush. For foundation. For primer. For bronzer. For concealer. Deep joy. Um, this tart exposed I've had for a couple of years now. And it started to dry up. So all I do is I get a uh, clean spoolie and just rough the top up so that I have it in loose powder format and then I can still use it. Um, now normally I go quite subtle with my blush but if this is going to have to show through the foundation I might have to go 80s with it. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I better see me when I don't know really. Might be useful for getting what I'm doing here. Let's bring you into here, because obviously you need to see everything, really. So let's... Yeah, that's not going to show up through it, is it? Let, let's, let's really pile the blush on. It's starting to look a little bit like Aunt Sally. Doesn't it team wonderfully with the dark circles under my eyes? Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah, great. Oh, what did I agree to? Now, I know a lot of people have already done this challenge, and I wasn't going to do it. But if one of your good kids asks you to do something, then, yeah, kind of. You know, you promised in church to always look after them and make sure that they're brought up well and you know God fearing and if they want to be and uh... <clears throat> so you want to make them happy this makes him happy next step bronzer yeah. 
again. I'm going to have to really go ham for this to show through the foundation. I'm going to have to really, really pack this on. Like... Oh. I'm going to end up looking like bloody Laura Lee at this rate. Orange. I hope this is giving you a giggle, Kieran. This is just such fun. Yeah, I look like an absolute lunatic right now. Kieran. <sighs> Brows. Alright, let's go... Uh, let's go quite dark with the brows, I think, because... Um, oh, as they are not going to show... <laughs> I have not dyed my brows purple, but I haven't used the Revolution purple pomade for three days in a row. Keep waking up with purple eyebrows. And I think for this one we'll go in with a pencil. Let me get a little mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, if you're seeing little speckles of glitter it's because I was wearing the pinky rose palette yesterday. And trying one of the glitters out. We all know what glitter is like. You know, you're still washing out your belly button three weeks after wearing it on your face. So. Oh Lord. The things you agree to. Although, I suppose I'm not the first person to make themselves look a bit of a prat on camera. I can think of a few that when they're putting makeup on think they're being quite serious about it. And have the skills of a ham-fisted camel. But let's not go there, right? <laughs> oh crikey blimey, what's next? Concealer. Oh at least I can get rid of the dark circles, that's good. Alright, let's go with my Tarte Shape Tape in Porcelain Beige, or 8B. Let's deal with these, shall we? Yeah. As you can see, this one is super super light on me so I don't use it on my face if I have areas that need concealing because it's just it's too bright it draws attention to them you know um, I'll normally use either one of my Colourpop ones um, or I'll use Revolution C1 because this is like Revolution 0.5 Still looking crazy, but at least not looking quite so sleepy crazy. What's next? <laughs> Eyeliner. Shadow. Let's 
going with the eyeliner edge. And two eyelids that are notoriously oily and need a primer on them. <sighs> I don't always wear eyeliner and I probably could have skipped this step but that would be cheating there's a nice little wing So if any of you watching have YouTube channels and haven't already done this, I'm going to pass Kieran's challenge on to you. I want to see you do it. Yes, I'm talking to you, Nikki, Chelsea, Anya, Valerie, Marlin, Linda, Jessica. I challenge all of you. And you, Gold Star Beauty. Oh, that was a bit of a... That one a little bit wafty. Never mind. It's not like I'm going to wear this out of the house. Because that wasn't part of the challenge, Kieran. <laughs> What's next? Eye primer. This is, I suppose, quite an interesting challenge. But I've now got to try and put this on without disrupting. Oh, yeah, straight over the eyeliner. Well done, Bomber. Because, of course, normally when I do this, all I've got on is my moisturiser, my SPF, and my primer. I'm not using SPF with this because I'm not going outside. But I will still do the moisturiser and the primer. Okay. I don't normally have to be this precise with my eye primer. <laughs> if anybody knows who started this putting it on in A to Z, do let me know and I'll uh, try and find their film and stick it in the description box. But the thing is, there's so many of them going round, I don't really know who started it. Okay. That's eye primer. What next? Oh, eyeshadow. Oh, great. i got to try and blend eyeshadow over this now, with a wing already in place. <laughs> Just cleaning the cream off of my brush with my microfiber cloth. Oh dear, 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 dear. Okay. Let's grab my Affinity 2 palette. Um, I think I'm going to have to start off with quite small brushes to make this work. Let's grab, I'm going to grab this Morphe M562. Um, and I'm going to go into, let's go into Schmale 
and uh, we'll try running this through the crease line now and then gently blending it upwards in circular motions. Now I know normally with mine I um, I come in a lot tighter and I talk you through each stage but this isn't how I would advise anybody to apply their makeup. So this is this is a challenge rather than a tutorial. I can see why Nikki Raven loves this little brush though. Because that did give me quite a bit of control. This is a real challenge. This is more of a challenge than you realise. Because you've now got to apply it as you would normally do, but you've got to avoid something that you normally put on over the top of it, and yet still get a halfway decent look. Because I'm determined that I'm going to do this properly. Bless him. We were in the pub the other day watching Game of Thrones and uh, I'd arrived a little bit earlier because his mum started selling Norwex cloths, which are awesome. I've been following, um, oh God, what's her name? Amy Marion on here. If I think on, I'll link her channel under me in the description. She's a mum of ten. Yes, you heard that right. She has ten children. She has given birth to ten children. Um, and it's all about how she runs her household and her life and all of her kids and everything and they do homeschooling and stuff and I just find it so relaxing to watch you know sort of either to ease my way into the day or sort of to chill out at the end of it and she's been raving about her Norwex cloths and her Norwex brooms and stuff and I've been trying to find someone over here that sells them um, and then my best mate Claire, mum of Kieran and other godchildren, well, three of my other godchildren, um, she started selling them. So she was doing a thing at the pub, doing like an intro thing on them. So that was awesome. So we were there for that and then we were going to watch Game of Thrones afterwards, which is great. Um, loving that, by the way. And um, bless him, as soon as Kieran sees my car pull up outside, he's down and he's out and he's opening the car door. Hello, Arnie Andrew. Um, love him. And he's like, you haven't forgotten about my challenge, have you? No, Kieran, I haven't forgotten about the challenge. Don't worry. Definitely going to do it. Big grin on his face. I love making my god kids happy. That's what a god mum's there for, now. Make the god kids happy. Babysit when you needed. Back up the parents when they're doing their discipline. You know. Be there for them. Right, I'm going to go in to, I think, um, Albert, which is the olive green. I'm loving olive greens at the moment. They really bring out the colour in my eyes. If you look, it's almost the same colour as my eye. So I'm loving using this, but this is the this is the really difficult bit now. I'm trying to deepen this up without disrupting that wing. I told you I'm doing it properly, Kieran. So yeah, how's your day been? Has it been a good one? Or are you watching me at the beginning of your day? I was meant to have gone and uh, had coffee with a mate today, but she's not feeling too good. And to be honest, uh, I didn't have the energy to get up off the sofa earlier. Umpteen cups of iced coffee have just about got me up right. Um, but I've just, I've had a few days where I've been just 
so exhausted, I just don't know what to do with myself. In the end, my body goes, no, do you know what? Stop. It just gives up and says, that's enough. I'm not going to do anything. So I don't really get a choice in the matter. Um, I'd always put that down to my fibro, but having been on a couple of fibro chat groups and stuff, um, some people have said that sounds more like chronic fatigue syndrome than just normal fibro tiredness. So next time I go over the GP, I'll ask him what he thinks, whether he thinks that is that, or you know, one more thing to add to the list. But you just keep going, don't you? Well, you got to, otherwise you just vegetate. But as I said, sometimes my body just tells me, no. Or to quote one of my previous series, whoa, 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 no. For those of you missing that, by the way, um, I've while I'm on my low buy, I've changed it to buy or ba, ba, ba. Um, and I know I've got at least one episode of that live now. So, you can find that in the playlist. Right, now I'm going to need, I'm going to go in with this Royal and Langnickel Chic Pro, it's actually a smudger brush, but I'm hoping this will give me, because normally on my lid I would use something like this, but obviously what I've got to avoid my, focus on the brush please, there we go, where I've got to avoid the eyeliner, that's going to be a bit too wide, so I'm hoping that this will have the density that I need to apply a shimmer but the accuracy so that I don't completely wipe out the wing and the liner okay. uh, so I am going to go in with Naveed do love this palette off camera when I'm not filming the palettes I've been reaching for most over the last sort of couple of weeks oh, this affinity too my pinky rose please excuse my throat uh, my pinky rose bright lights palette and um, oh dear someone's not happy um, my colour pop just my luck I have so been into my greens lately. A bit like I was with purples last year. Trust me to like the colours that are the most difficult to create. Although I will say that this Affinity 2 is awesome. I mean my absolute favourite green palette or palette with greens in is still Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe love that palette because it has got a nice mix of the purples the blues and the greens um, but this would absolutely come a very very close second I'd say but then as they're sisters they do probably use the same lab their formulas don't feel the same their formulas do feel different but they do both perform really really well um, blush tribe i do have a discount code for which is as with all of mine bomber all in caps uh, that saves you 10 percent on any order over 10 pound it's not affiliated i don't earn from it um, but it will save you a bit of dollar doesn't always work on the new releases. Sometimes, you know, if they're brand new or pre-orders, it doesn't always work. Um, it just depends. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, it's always... I don't have a code with certify as of yet. Um, but then, to be fair, I've only... I've only really got three of... I've only more recently been using Certify. I got the first one of their palettes tail end of last year, whereas Hasina, well, well, I had the um, psychedelic palette from Blush Tribe 
before I even started this channel, so that's well over a year ago. Probably a good 18 months ago that I bought that one. What do we think? Is that okay? Right now, I've got to do the under eye as well, haven't I? Because this is normally the point that I say, right, having done my eyeshadow, I'm now going to put my foundation on, then I'll come back and finish the look off. But, no. No. Not today. Okay, I'm going to go into Shazad, which is the deepest of the greens in here. But I'm picking it up on quite a loosely packed flat topper brush. So it won't be as deep. But you do get the you get the richness of colour, but not the full on depth, which is what I want. Because I don't want it to be too dark. But I still want that shade. Is it bad that I'm getting used to seeing my forehead looking like I've been rolling around in Doritos? I look like I've had the worst spray turn ever. <sighs> Resembles Donald Trump's forehead, which is worrying. the Royal and Magnical Chic Pro eyeshadow brush and go into Fraz and just smoke the under eye out. Crikey, blimey. Right, <clears throat> what's next? Foundation. Aha, foundation. Fabulous. Right, I'm going to go in with this um, fast base from Revolution. I've only got that much left of it. Um, because it doesn't last well on my skin, I tend to use it for films where I'm basically putting the makeup on to take it back off again, so challenges and um, if I'm doing more than one look in a day because this is just so emollient, it just goes on so easily this is shade uh, F2 if you were wondering and let's grab Somewhere back here, I have got a nice Fendicione brush. There we go. This is one of the BH Smoke and Mirrors brushes where they come down and then flare out at the bottom. Uh, this is number four. So let's. Now's the point where I find out whether I put enough bronzer and blush on or too much. I also have to be very, very careful of my brows because they're already done. Hmm. This is a very emollient formula. Uh, if you've got dry skin, you're going to love it because it is so soft and so moisturising but if like me you are oily combo it's not going to be your friend or it will be for about an hour maybe two but anything more than that and it starts breaking down and settling into fine lines. Um, 
it goes very very patchy on my t-zone I have got a film using it doing the um, foundation review if I remember I will link that underneath so that you can see I'm not even sure you can even see all that blush and bronzer that I put on now Crikey, how much would you need to put on for it to show? It's showing up around the hairline quite a bit I mean... I mean, come on! What's next? Oh, highlight, okay. Just cleaning the cream off of this brush because, as you know, if I use a brush with creams or liquids, I always clean them straight off. Because um, then, if I want to use it tomorrow, I can do, and there's nothing of today's formula to kind of contaminate whatever I'm using tomorrow. And it also makes the deep clean at the end of the week so much easier. Highlight. I think as we're going in and looking ridiculous, I'm going to use Diamond Lily from Wet n White, which is the silver one. Because, well, why not? This is a dupe for the Fenty one. Um... It was actually out before the Fenty Silver one was. So, that's why I could resist buying the Silver one. Although the Silver one is for charity, isn't it? It goes to, um... Oh, she's got the name of it on there, hasn't she? I can't for the life of me think what it is now. But I know it goes through to a charity for... The elderly. Is it for Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or something like that? Well, I suppose this could be looking worse, but then I haven't got to the last few stages yet, have I? Those are the bits that I'm really not looking forward to. <laughs> right, I'm going in with my Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlighting Brush. Oh, this is not easy to put on over a non-set highlighter. Uh, non-set foundation, rather. Because obviously normally I would have gone in and set my foundation with powder before going in. With the highlight. I am starting to resemble the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Superb! That really wasn't ASMR, was it? I do apologise. Just going to clean the purple, the silver off the end of this brush so that I don't forget, grab it tomorrow, and suddenly end up with a grey streak across my cheek. Right, what comes after highlight? Uh, found a uh, lipstick. 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 Okay. Let's go in with, this is one of the MAC Patrick Star lip glasses, because my lips are a bit dry, but I cannot for the life of me read what the colour is, sorry. It smells like strawberry chews. I think um, we're going to see a lot more lip glosses this year. Although I don't think liquid lipsticks are going anywhere. 
I do think we are going to see more bullet lipsticks and lip glosses making a resurgence this year. Just like we seem to be seeing more glowy foundations coming out than matte ones, it just seemed to be heading more towards the glow than, than anything else. Mascara. Okay, I'll use this Barry M. That's how I roll waterproof mascara. It's from this point on that it goes downhill. Because now now I have to put moisturizer on. which I always apply with my fingers. Never try to put moisturiser on and not dislodge foundation underneath it. Actually, this moisturiser does have a bit of an SPF in it. This has got SPF 15, so I kind of have to put SPF on after all. Then, <sighs> primer. So, let's really compound things, shall we? Let's go in with. NYX Honey Do Me Up which is kind of sticky And again, Now, setting powder. So I'm going with my AOA um, Perfect Setting Powder in Brightening.
there goes any highlight at all. Because obviously, setting powder over the top. So I've definitely got powder on here as you can see. Over the top of moisturiser and primer and oh dear. And finally setting spray. So let's go in with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. Actually no, let's choose a shimmery one. Let's see if we can get some shine back on this face. There you go, Obsessions Prep Fix and Glow. Right, I'm going to pause you and take my hair down and then we can come back and um, see how awful this looks. Okay, I thought I'd stay zoomed in just so you could get a really good close-up of... Um, it's actually not as bad as I was expecting, I will be honest. I thought that going in with the moisturiser and then, although I do look like I've got a ghost head right now because obviously... All my bronzer and my blush is underneath the foundation. Yeah. But, um, there you go, Kieran. There is your Auntie Angie putting her makeup on in alphabetical order for you. Um, as I said, I'm actually really surprised with how it's turned out. I was expecting it to look so much worse than it does right now. Um... I was super surprised actually when I put this and this on over the top of foundation. was fully expecting this to absolutely break the foundation down and end up with a horrible gloopy mess on my face. So um, that was a, a definite surprise. Um, but the Tin Man highlight has pretty much disappeared. Uh, the Prep Set and Glow has at least stopped my skin looking quite so flat, Matt. It has brought a bit of a shine back to it. So it looks more like skin. But obviously, without bronzer and blush and everything to, to brighten things up, uh, or to warm things up and put colour back in, because obviously foundation takes away all the natural colours in your face, um, I am a little bit of a white floating head. Even my viewfinder's got a huge great orange square on my head going. <laughs> yeah. So. Don't forget, ladies. I challenge you to do this. As a continuation of Kieran's challenge. Uh, Kieran, you owe Auntie Angie a huge great kutch next time you see her. For those of you who don't speak Welsh, that's cuddle, hug, squidge, squish, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's basically a cuddle filled with love, is a kutch. And um, on, on that note, I need to take this stuff off my face because, yeah, uh, I think the husband will walk in and take one look and go, what happened? Uh, what, what, crayons today or but anyway um, as always please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube do still keep unsubscribing people from my channel um, if you enjoyed watching this although I can't imagine 
uh, any kind of tip you could take from it. But if you enjoyed watching this, I do have a lot of other films where I put makeup on in a sensible order and actually talk you through. Um, and I do actually end up looking quite presentable at the end of most of them. <clears throat> It'd be awesome if uh, you'd please go and check a couple of those out. And now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.